Here's another way to change our view of information in Excel. It's freezing either rows, columns, or combinations of the two. So when we freeze a row or a column, instead of hiding it or doing any resizing, any of the other things we've done with rows and columns, in this case what we're going to do is actually just freeze it in place. So let me show you how that's going to work. What we'll do is we'll come up here to the View tab, and in the View tab, we have an option called Freeze Panes. And yours may look different if your window is sized differently, but the button should still be there in the window group. So what we can do with freeze panes, and you may have seen this on someone else's spreadsheet, so it's important to know how it's working uh, in case someone has frozen some panes that you want to unfreeze. So we'll click on freeze panes, and you'll see we've got several options. We've got one option that just says freeze panes, one that says freeze top row, and one that says freeze first column. So that does exactly what it sounds like. If I say freeze top row, what it does is it's going to take row one and just freeze it in place. So now as I scroll down my screen, you can see these numbers changing down here and all the information is changing, but row number one is staying in the same place. It remains static. Now if I come up here and I unfreeze panes, that's how I do it. I come back to the view tab and click unfreeze panes. As I scroll, it does not hold row one the same. Now let's say instead though maybe I wanted to keep column A frozen. That's what first column is for. And if I click on that, and I scroll to the right, you can notice that column A stays frozen in place. So this is really important if you have information that you want to be able to view as you move around in your spreadsheet. So you want it always to be visible no matter where you are in the spreadsheet. So in our case, um, row 1 and column A probably don't make much of a difference. We need something custom. So these default options up here in the menu aren't going to work for us. So I'm going to unfreeze the panes. The way you do a custom application is we have to make sure we click the active cell in the correct place before we apply freeze panes. Okay? So the general concept is that wherever I have my cell active, it will freeze all of the panes above it. So if I have my cell active here in uh, row 4, then rows 3, 2, and 1 will all be frozen. The same applies with columns. So if I have my uh, active cell here in column B, then column A will be frozen. If I have it in column C, anywhere in column C, then uh, columns B and A will be frozen. So to combine that concept, if I have my cursor here in cell C4, then rows 3, 2, and 1 will be frozen, and columns B and A will be frozen at the same time. So we can test that to make sure that will work. And I'm going to come up here to Freeze Panes, and I'll just click on Freeze Panes. Now you can see these black lines, and those identify where we have frozen panes. If I scroll down, you'll notice that rows 3, 2, and 1, they are staying in place, so that's nice if I want to be able to see my column labels. And then also if I scroll to the right, you can see project ID has stayed in place. Now even if I'm scrolled way over here looking at estimated cost, I still have the project ID to compare to. If I want to undo that, I just come up here to freeze panes and click on unfreeze panes. So it's just as easy as that and that's how freezing panes, freezing rows, columns, or combination works.